everyone, welcome to another episode of Carolyn and Her Clothes. So today I have a miscellaneous haul for you and I'm going to warn you in advance that a lot of this is going back. A lot of you I have questioned like why do I buy things and return them? Like why am I even bothering? Um, sometimes I'm on my phone at night and I just have that trigger button and I just, you know, let me buy this. Oh, that's cute. And I just, you know, don't really think about it too much. I need to stop that. I'm almost thinking I need to delete these apps again <laughs> because I see something, I like it and I just click the buy now. But once I do that, I kind of regret it because I realize, oh, I have something similar or it was too much money or I can find something similar. So, um, yeah, I want, a lot of this is what I'm show, showing you is pretty pricey stuff and I'm probably going to be returning most of it. So I'm prefacing this video with that. So I don't want to sound negative. I just kind of have buyer's remorse right now. So the first thing that I purchased, because this is the second time I saw it pop up in my freestyle app and I never got it the first time and I was kicking it myself. So when it showed up the second time, I quickly bought it. It's the French Connection Liam Lace Mixed High Neck Top. All right. This is really pretty, okay? It is a short sleeve sweater. It was $128, how crazy is that? The sleeves are all lace, um, and it's not very soft, to be honest with you. It's quite scratchy, and it has a little cuff here at the sleeve, which is adorable. Um, it has a band of bottom. This is an extra soft, which is my usual size, but this really looks tiny too. That's another thing that's on top of it. And I will tell you the materials, just so you can get an idea. It is 100% cotton, the lace is polyester, it's hand wash, cold, dry, flat, all right? Um, this is cute. I do would like a white little sweater like this. I have one white sweater, but it's starting to look a little grungy. But I've been looking at Loft, and Loft has some really cute things, and even cute white sweater with like scallop details. So I just might go there and buy a sweater from there. I just, I don't think I can justify this. I will try it on um, to see how it looks. And I'm probably not gonna style it in any way, but just try on just to see, and uh, we'll make a determination from there. Okay, next up, also from Stitch Fix, because like I said, I, it's bad, I'm, on not, it, I'm addicted to that app. I'm on, I'm looking, things show up, and I'm like, ooh, that's cute. So this is a cute little halter top, also looks super small. I mean, I get it's cropped, but this looks really small. Um, I'm thinking in certain name brands, I must need to size up. I'm gonna say this and I'm totally gonna to butcher the name. It's called En Sasson. It's it's like a French E-N and then a new word, capital S-A-I-S-O-N, Sasson. Um, the Audrey Smock Crop Top in yellow, size extra small. This is really cute. Um, I don't know if it's gonna look ridiculous on me due to my age, but it's so cute. Uh, people say, you're dressing too young. I have to say, you know what, it's kind of funny. I was just shopping with my daughter and there's no way that she would wear anything like this. She'd be like, that's hideous, that's old lady. So, you know, it's everybody's like interpretation. She would never ever wear something like this, all right? Reason why I regret it um, also purchasing it besides the price is that, you know, I have this yellow top. Yeah, I know the colors are different and it's definitely a different style. And then I also have this one, and yeah, the colors are different, and it's a different style. But but still, you know, this is both, especially this one, it's both yellow floral. So I'm going to try this on, see how it looks, but I, I think because of how crop it is and small it is, I have a feeling it will also go back. Plus, the price did not help. All right. Also from Stitch Fix, I've been looking for pink shoes, and these two popped up. So the first pair, look how cute these are. <laughs> these are by Nine West. I forget the prices, but I'm gonna be linking below everything that I purchased. Aren't they adorable? All right, uh, I bought these to hopefully go with some pink items I have. So this is the one pink item I have, and as you can see, this does not work, all right? This is more of like a melony type of pink. The next pink item I have, and I really didn't have intentions of wearing pink shoes with this, but I certainly could, as I can't get them undone, is this pink jacket. So I have this hot pink jacket from INC, and I do think these shoes would work with it, all right? But I did not have intentions of wearing these shoes so much with this jacket. Then I also have this pink top, but I don't think these pink shoes go with this pink top either, all right? And then I have this pink top, and these shoes probably would go with them. All right, 
Then I also have this pink jacket, which is exactly why I got the shoes. And yeah, these don't work. <laughs> All right. So these are up in the air uh, as to whether I keep them because the point of me buying pink shoes was to wear them with my pink items. And it, you can see it only matches a few of the pink items I have and not great. You know, I'm looking more to match more pink items. So these are maybe, they're adorable, but I'm not so sure. All right, so I will try them on, see how they look, and maybe I'll let you guys vote as to what I should do. All right, of course I had to get a second pair of pink shoes, so we'll do the same thing with those. All right, this style isn't exactly what I was hoping for, all right? The first pair, all right, these are a, um, you know, jute, and those were Nine West, and like I said, I can't remember the price, and these are Nine West as well. They have the jute down here, so it's more of an estrogen style. And um, they're almost like a minimalist strap. but So yes, they're pink, but there's not a lot of pink to them, all right? I do think it would go pretty well with the sweater I'm wearing. It's not quite the style I was hoping for. I was hoping for more like a sleeker style. Um, they don't really go with the moto jacket at all. Um, not really this top. Not really this one as well and not really this so between the style and the color being off i think i'm gonna have to pass on these two but i'm gonna give them a shot and try them on and we'll see how they look and you guys can tell me what you think all right all right next up i got a blazer all right from poshmark i wanted um a white blazer a white linen blazer to wear casually during the summer I don't have anything, other than a white jean jacket, I don't have anything. So I got this, it's from Banana Republic, it's new with tags, and it's a size too petite, which is my normal size. And again, I got it from Poshmark, so it is mine now. Um, and to be honest with you, it looks like there might even be a little bit of, of a stain or something back there. Maybe it's just wrinkles. It's, I don't think it's too noticeable. I'll hold it up to the camera to see if you can see. It might just be wrinkles, I'm not quite sure. You could see that? Yeah, so it's mine now. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm not a huge fan of Poshmark, but uh, I'll try it on and see how it works, okay? Then lastly, a work of art. I have to show you these shoes. I am so excited about these. Nordstrom, I had them on my wish list for a while and they went on sale down to $55. Now they're not real leather, all right? That said, the the pink the first pink ones are suede. I don't think these were suede. These the second wood the wedged ones are nine west Alex wedged light pink. Look at these, work of art. So these are by Chinese Laundry. Again, not leather. The heels probably about mm, two and a half inches. Um, it's a faux suede or micro micro leather. It does have a little bit of cushioning. It has a single strap here and it's a mule back. Aren't these gorgeous? <laughs> Um, unless these really hurt my feet, I think these are a keeper. They're just beautiful. All right, so give me a minute and I'm going to do a try on. Okay, the first pair are the Nine West Alex Wedge in light pink. Um, I only have one on. They're extremely uncomfortable. I will pan down so you can see them. Full disclosure, I do have bunions, so this is just too tight around my bunions. So if you don't have a wider foot like I do, you might be able to get away with them, but for me, they're extremely uncomfortable and the strap is digging in right where I have the bunions. So I'll pan down so you can see. All right, so this is what they look on. They're um, a, like almost like a flat form. So they're a wedge, but they're not like a steep wedge at all. So it's a very modest wedge, very easy to walk in if they're not too tight on you. But as you can see, there's this crisscross strap right there and it's just like right on my bunion and it's just too tight. And to be honest with you, I, I also had a hard time actually um, closing it around my ankle too. I guess my little chubby calves aren't exactly easy either. So these are a no um, for pure comfort alone. Forget about matching. All right, give me a minute. I'm gonna try on the other pink shoes. Okay. Up next is the Poshmark blazer, which appears to be too small. Look at the length of this. Um, I, I'm petite, I have very small arms, and I cannot believe there's a good like three inches before it even comes to my wrist. Uh, is this supposed to be the style? 
I guess I can roll them up. There are buttons here, and I guess I could theoretically roll up the sleeves, which is probably what I'll have to do, because otherwise I think it kind of looks kind of silly, all right? Um, it, it feels, it doesn't feel too, too tight. I mean, it is a little bit snug across the shoulders and whatnot, but I'm not uncomfortably so. And again, I paid $20 plus shipping for this. So again, it's not like a huge dollar amount, but I hate being out of money. I hate spending money on things and not being able to get wear out of. So let me know what you think um, of the blazer and what it looks like from the front and back. And let me know what you think I should do with it. And is that like spot or stain really anything noticeable? And if so, how do you suggest I should treat it? All right, on are the other shoes, the other pink shoes. Now these are comfy. <laughs> Let me fan down and I purposely swapped out for a top that I already own because I thought it probably would work with these shoes. All right, so let me pan down so you can see the shoes. They're very comfortable. They're a fun hot pink. Um, I think I have two things I can wear with them. <laughs> so let me uh, give you the full outfit view and stand back and hopefully you can see the shoes. Can you see them? All right. Let me know your thoughts about the shoes with this outfit. Uh, would you keep the shoes? These ones are comfortable. And from what I can tell, I have this shirt um, and this jacket that would work with the shoes. And I also have, um, as well as that, I do have another hot pink top by Vince Camuto. I guess I could wear with these as well, but I tend to wear that in the winter more because it's like longer sleeve. So let me know your thoughts on this. Would you keep these shoes? They are very comfortable. The heel is tolerable. They are adorable. Um, but they weren't quite what I was looking for, and I was hoping to get something to match more of the pinks that I have. Let me know your thoughts, all right? All right, give me a minute. Okay, this is going back. This is the N. Sasan top. Look how short this is. My complete belly is showing. <laughs> The crop part doesn't even come down to a peplum. It's like literally coming like a half waist here. So this is a no, not a good look. Um, the concept is good, but I am small, but not that small. On it, I have the uh, Chinese laundry shoes. Okay. I'll show you the shoes. Um, they're not as comfortable as the pink ones. I'll be honest with you. Uh, they're a tad snug around my foot they're okay i wouldn't say they're comfortable they're not uncomfortable either i kept the uh one pant leg rolled up so um i don't know i really like these really liked them a lot i would have preferred them to be comfortable like the nine west ones uh, they're not uncomfortable, but I wouldn't say they're comfortable either. So, but these were $55 and I think if I send them back, I'll be regretting it. Alrighty. I have one more top to try on that very expensive sweater. So give me a minute. Okay. Next is the French connection sweater. And as I expected too, too small, um, it's too small around the wrist. It's pulling across the chest. I don't even like the collar on this. It's a little bit too choky and up high. Um, and I wanted to point out too, my pants are white and I thought this sweater was white, but I would say it's more of an off white as you can see. All right. It's a cute sweater. I personally don't feel it's worth the price. So this sweater is going back. So out of this haul, it looks, well, I'm keeping the blazer because I got no choice. I have to, can't return it. Maybe the pink shoes. I think I'm going to keep these brown shoes. The taupe ones, again, I have them on. They're starting to grow on me as far as comfort goes. I don't think they're that comfortable at all. They're, they're, they're fine. I like them, and I might even wear them tonight. <laughs> so the, the pink shoes I'm keeping, maybe keeping. I'm thinking about keeping. Definitely these um, brown shoes I'll keep and the jacket, but the... Uh, other items, the other pink shoes are going back. The yellow unsasan top is going back. And uh, this sweater is going back. Well, thank you again for returning subscribers. I appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, what's holding you back? I unfortunately do quite a bit of shopping and I have loved to share it with you. <laughs> I need to stop. I don't know why I can't stop, but uh, I'd like to share with you what I purchased and share that joy. Uh, give me a thumbs up and click that notification bell if you haven't already. Take care and until next time.